In this class, we are going to learn how to send an email notification with the help of Oracle integration. You might come across a scenario wherein your integration is required to send an email notification based on some business events. In order to send email notification, you have to click on this actions button over here or the icon. If you see under actions, there is a notification action. Just drag and drop wherever you want to send the notification in the flow. So, our flow is very simple over here. We are having just a trigger connection and a mapper. I am dropping a notification over here in between them. So, as soon as you drop the notification, you will get a wizard in order to configure the same. Click on this. So, coming to the two, you can get the two value based on some expression. You might save the two email address in some database repository or you might get this from some BIP report or external web service. You can hard code over here as well or you can get this from the variables, whatever is available over here. Now, I will hard code here. I will provide the email address of our Gmail account. Binum apps at the rate gmail.com done from we can provide any from but whatever is configured in your instance configuration or the administration those thing only you will get in the from address no reply at oracle.com i will put over here done coming to the subject i will provide over here the test subject but all those things you can overwrite with the help of the mapper or with the help of parameters which are available over here now coming to the body here you can have a body in html as well as in the plain text as well in this class we will learn about plain text i will write over here hi i will provide the name over here in a variable so we will learn how to create the variable as well hi have a nice day now the name we have created this as a variable now you might get a question how i know this is a variable i have mentioned this within the flower brackets now if you scroll down there is the section to add the variables we need to provide the variable name which we have created in our body. I will provide over here and the name I will give Binum. So, like this we have to define the parameters or the variables. Now, this variable the name should match over here whatever you have in the body. Now, like this we can create n number of variables clicking on the plus. Suppose if you have an attachment you can click on this plus attachment and you can map the attachments. Once you are done with adding the details, you can just click somewhere on the plain text so that the wizard will go off over here, sorry, the plain area in your screen. Once you're done, just click on this save. I will pause this class over here. Until then, I will activate this integration and we will resume from the testing window. I am here in the testing window for this notify test 01 integration. I will click on run as we don't have to populate any details while triggering this integration. When we hit on this run button, it make a call to notification service available in this integration with the help of that notification action and it will send the email. Let me just refresh. If you see message sent by notification, here you will get the details like what was the subject from address to address and so forth things. Now we will verify from our email account whether we have got the email notification or not. Here if you see, I have opened the Gmail account. If you see, I have got the email notification with the details like subject test, hi, binum, the binum, we had created a parameter and then the message, have a nice day. So like this, we can send an email notification in Oracle integration 3 by making use of parameters and also you can send the attachments if you have any.